EA Sports and the United States Golf Association are proud to present a national championship. Today, it's live final round coverage of the 115th U.S. Open Championship. Hello again and welcome Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabilo here to call the action for EA Sports at the U.S. Open Championship. We are at Chambers Bay in University Place, Washington. And Frank, this does not look like any U.S. Open golf course that I have seen. No, it's quickly getting the respect of uh, many of the golf pundits and riders out there as just this wonderful blend of links and parkland style golf. It presents so beautifully to the eye. But also it challenges every aspect of your game. And really, you couldn't want for anything more than that when you were going to play a major championship. Designed by Robert Trent Jones II with breathtaking views of the Puget Sound as well as the Olympic Mountains. It should be pretty good right there. On the safe side. That is an excellent play right there. The approach, giving him another good look. Not a gimme, but well within his range. I thought that was in. Yeah, it looked good. I mean, line, pace, it's hard to be critical of that. Just a couple of feet. That's a solid par putt. Second hole now here at Chambers Bay in the U.S. Open. Frank, it's a relatively short par four. It doesn't mean it's easy, though. Uh, this is more of a strategic hole. You want to lay the ball up around sort of 270, 280 yards, avoid that big bunker on the left. It is going to leave a short iron in, but the hole bends to the left as well as the slope of the land is right to left. Got to take that into account. And the tee shot ends up in the bunker. Missed the fairway in the fairway bunker now. It's not all gloom and doom, though. Lip isn't too high. A good swing here still shouldn't be a problem. So on the putting surface and taking a good look now at this birdie putt here at the second. Par yesterday. Now for birdie. That not go in. Amazing. Stroke looked good. Uh, line looked good. Just did not take that final break. And getting ready for the putt. Good putt. At the third tee now, Frank, and what are we staring at here? This green is anything other than symmetrical, so be very, very uh, cautious on where the flag is. Anything in the middle of the green you can putt to the corners, uh, well, if you can call them corners, more like ragtails, but uh, beautiful par three. Well, this is straight at it. It's a really good line. they will be pretty happy with that one. About 20 feet away, in a good spot. And it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. Well, you couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. Trying to grind out a par here. Needs it. Takes care of business there. Solid strike. Frank, so often a U.S. Open is defined by difficult par fours. How does the fourth here at Chambers Bay stack up? 
Well, Richard, adds to your list here, 495 yards, uh, that says one thing, but the fact that it's anything other than straight, bunkers left and down the right side, plus the, the hole bends to the right, so this is a very strategic hole. If anything, something slightly left of centre, but you're still going to have a lengthy second shot. We'll need to catch this solid 190 yards away. On the green, and a chance for birdie. 21 feet from pay dirt. Frank, that's not one you're necessarily thinking about making. No, just a uh, good putt, though. There's no two ways about that. He's putting well. Has his par. Fifth hole here at the U.S. Open. Frank, why do they call it free fall? Um, I guess because you can make a mess here, you just keep going down. Bunkers left and right, there's acres of sand on the left and right, and just one little measly bunker, but it's smack bang in the front of the screen. A huge elevation change from tee to fairway. That's a ginormous tee shot. Frank, what do we have with the approach shot here at the fifth? Just got to be cognizant of that bunker that's, uh, you can see it there, that's just central front of this green. You've either got to go around it, or if you're good enough, then you go straight over it. But you've got to have a ton of spin on the second shot. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Well, he's on the green, but still plenty of work left. About a 25-footer coming up. Boy, this could be a tough one right here, Frank. It's a very long part, Rich. Obviously, it's difficult, uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for birdie. Like performance, yet another birdie. Into the top 15 on the leaderboard. Good spot to be in, fresh off a birdie. And all of a sudden, you start to feel like you've got the game in hand. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Mmm, what a drive. Just tattooed that. This is just a superb performance. Great round to this point, Frank, and you can really see that reflected in his mood today. Yeah, it just looks too easy. Uh, swinging the club beautifully. Ball's going exactly where he, where he wants it to. He's not trying to take too many risks. So consequently, he's getting birdie opportunity after birdie opportunity. Get down. Look out. It's over. The green. Frank landed it on the green. It was never going to stop. No, no chance. Frank, you like his chances to walk away with a par here? Well, with a good shot, Rich, yeah, that's certainly on the cards in that. And, um, and you think, you just ride a par down at the end of the, end of the hole, don't tell anyone about it. It certainly won't affect the scorecard at the end of the day. So that's the goal right here. Nice approach shot. He'll be happy with that. Little redemption chance here had bogey yesterday. So frustrating sometimes on the greens, isn't it? Drop shot here at the sixth. Something about this hole, it has not been kind. Bogey yesterday and staring at another one today. Bit of a disappointment there. Makeable putt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. Going to have to regroup now after that double bogey. 
Well, Frank, what a stretch of tough par fours here at Chambers Bay. Now to the seventh, long uphill par four and a lot of trouble to the right. Yeah, and it's all sand, that's for sure. Um, if you miss the field on the left, then it's all June, so take your pick, really. But ideally, that uh, green piece that the, uh, the superintendent often mows each and every day, that's the place to go. And for a U.S. Open at 508 yards, if you miss that, that little green strip, then this hole will be hazardous because it's going to play a lot longer than that uphill. Shot now from the rough. Frank, what's he facing? Well, the lie first and foremost. If it's sitting down, then obviously you're not going to get a very good contact. Nothing wrong with coming up a little bit short of the green. Problem is turning one mistake into another. So miss the fairway, and now he's back where he needs to be. Yeah, minimize the problems. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Try to scramble here. He's giving himself a chance for par. These putts keep the round together. He's made it. Frank, we know we're at a U.S. Open, 500-yard par fours, and here a better than 600-yard par five at the eighth. Yeah, you need a missile really off the tee to be able to reach this par five and two, and not a single bunker really on this uh, on this hole. So this is just uh, long every stretch of the way. The fairway actually looks a little bit narrower than what it is. There's a little bit more fairway than uh, actually what meets the eye at first. Playing his second shot here at the par five. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. That's well played. Oh, good look at birdie. Made par yesterday. This one for birdie. Rich Lerner and Frank Nabilo back with you here at Chambers Bay in the U.S. Open. Now to the ninth hole, closing out this front side. Well, it just goes to show the tremendous variety that the designer Robert Trent Jones uh, the second has done here. We've seen already a tremendous variation, and then this sort of uh, just goes on top of it. Elevated tee goes down to a green that just slopes a little bit to the right, well bunkered on the right. That was like Usain Bolt, Frank, right through the tape. Yeah, that first step, that was never going to stop. Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. Pretty good shot right there. Bogey here yesterday. Chance to better that today. And he makes it for par. Getting ready.